Okay, so today I'm going to try something that I've never done before. I'm going to make some gummy candy. I've never made these before. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour my ingredients into this pan. Just want to, I've, of course, this is clean. I just want to dust it in case there's any dust in it. All right, so I'm going to start by, hang on, I'm looking at a recipe. I've never made these before. Okay, so for, let's let this heat up for a minute. I'm actually going to double the recipe because I'd rather have a little too much than not enough mixture. I'm hoping to get them like a firm gummy and not a jello-y gummy. So I'm going to increase my gelatin. I'm using this Knox gelatin. These. I mean, these can turn out to be a disaster. I don't know. If they do come out well, I can make them again. If not, I'll just make jello. Either way, I can make some use of this gelatin. And if they don't come out well, I can use my molds to make chocolate candy. Okay, so hopefully that's not too bright. Okay, so let me just want to let's see. Two thirds of cold water. I'm gonna use two envelopes of the knot. And I'm going to add some extra things in here. It says the more gelatin you use, the stiffer your gummy candy will be, and that's what I want. I don't want jello-y, wiggly candy. I want like the chewy kind. Two packages of that. I'm going to add some sugar substitutes. Mine are sugar free, by the way. I don't eat anything with sugar in it. I'm going to use two packets of sugar substitute. Okay, and let's see, now for this batch I'm going to use the anise and in a future batch I'm going to use the strawberry because I like black flavored licorice and eating too much of that is not good for you. So I'm going to use the anise extract, which will give it a black licorice flavor. I'm melting the um, gelatin in here. Let's raise the heat and then lower it after. So I'm going to add like a half a teaspoon of this. will give all of my candy a black licorice taste. I'm going to put a little bit more since I doubled the recipe. I need to wipe this. Now. 
I don't know what this is going to come out like, but I do need to get this gelatin all melted in. I don't think this is going to make very much by looking at it. So I'm probably just going to fill up one tray of my molds this time. And I doubled the recipe. Gelatin powder always smells so bad because it is an animal product. I cannot stand the smell of the gelatin powder without any flavoring in it. it smells disgusting actually. It smells extra horrible as it's heating up. And this, the second part of this um, video, after I pour it into the molds, will be I'll be continuing the video probably tomorrow because they should refrigerate in the refrigerator for a full day to try to get them as hard as possible so they set. Got to blend it all in. It's blending pretty well. Just smells nasty. You know, actually I'm going to add some of the strawberry. I will have a anise, anise slash strawberry. So it'll be like mixing two of my favorite flavored licorices together. Let's put just not even, I just need to have, make it oop, smell better. I'm going to wipe these, always drip on the outside. And there is one more thing I'm going to add in as well. I'm going to add some food coloring in it so I don't have clear gummies. Actually, I'll add the food coloring after I put this in the um, little container. Now I'm going to add some food coloring. Like three dots. I don't know how much to add. I added some red food coloring in here so that it looks prettier. It's a light purplish, actually. Alright, it's mixed well enough. I'm taking it off of the heat. Take it off of the heat for a minute. into this bowl for a minute. It's like a light purpley color. I just want to get it out of the hot pan is what I'm doing. All right, now let's sit it over here. It's right there. Okay, so the next step let me see. Um, I'm just going to make, well, I don't know if I can get two trays out of this. Okay, 
So here are my molds that I bought at Michael's. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my little, where are they? I'm going to use one of these. Oh, I don't need the cap. So now I'm going to put the mixture in here. I've already washed these. I bought these last week. Uh, I should probably get my funnel out. Dusty. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to pour it in here. Hopefully they'll taste better than the raw gelatin smells. I can work on the recipe. I just need to try this out. This is the first time I've done this. Let me throw this away. I've never made these before, so let me do it one time for oop. Okay, so you fill it in. I have a dropper as well, but I'm gonna. I hope my hand's not in the way and you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I should move the camera on this side. I think this would be better. Yeah, okay. I'll make sure the camera's on. Is it on yet? Yeah, it's on, okay. Now, so this is the very first time I'm making these. Now, I'll be able to tell if I put enough flavoring in them or not. If not, you know what I might try next time? Actually, no. I was thinking I'll use some sugar-free flavored jello powder, but that has a maltodextrin, which for me, I don't want to have because of my glucose levels. It'll raise it even though it's a sugar substitute. So what I can add, let me show you what I can add. Some of this stuff that doesn't have the mal maltodextrin. Add some of this orange, I should have done that, that I add to my water. Okay, so I, I can see that I'm going to have to probably triple the recipe next time because I only have enough for one tray. And I will not be back to report back until tomorrow because these have to set for like 48 hours, no, 24 hours, 24 hours. And now that I think about it, I probably should have gotten the gummy bear molds because part of the drying process says to stand them up so that they can dry on both sides, but I can't stand these fish up. I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe when I pop them off, they will stand up. Okay, so at least I don't have to wash an extra tray. These are all clean. And I'll show you the other molds I got as well that I can do chocolate with. So if this process, if I can't perfect the texture of the gelatin, I can work with chocolate next time and make chocolate seashells, some chocolate turtles, starfish, fish, and some more fish. And Michael's had a bunch of different um, molds. And the Daiso store, D-A-I-S-O store, also has molds I found out that I didn't know about, or I probably would have bought them there because they are cheaper there. They have Disney ones. So anyways, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I won't be back probably for a day after they've hardened. So we can try them out. Okay, so it hasn't been a full day yet, but earlier I 
pressed on one of the gummies and it felt really firm. So it's been about uh, almost seven hours and I'm gonna take them out of the fridge and take them out of the mold and flip them and then put them back in the fridge. So the back side can get dry as well. And I have a tip. Something that I discovered. Um, so when I was getting ready to put these in the fridge, right after I put them in the molds today, I wanted to get them out of this big pan because originally I thought I would have three molds, but the mixture, even though I doubled the recipe, still only amounted to one of these. So I didn't need all this extra space, so I was gonna use a small cutting board. But once the liquid was already in here, I was not able to transfer this into the small cutting board because the liquid would have spilled out. So I had to put it in the fridge like this. So next time, I'm gonna use my small cutting board to set this on before I put it in the mold. Now, as you can see, they're firm. They feel very, very firm. This one feels a little wet. That's why I wanna flip them. So I'm gonna pop them out of the mold and put them in a um, bowl. So, oh, actually I purchased this cute little thing, especially for these, but at this point I don't wanna transfer them in here because I wanna lay them flat so they can dry. And that's not wide enough, so. I'm gonna get a paper plate. Just gonna use this one less, one less dish to wash. Okay, so here we go. This is the big test. Oh, they're adorable. Look at these cute fish, ooh. It's very firm too, it's very firm. So I'm gonna dry them off. They're very firm. Now, the one thing is I'm sure the flavor is not gonna be as I want because I use an extract and I don't wanna use an extract next time. I wanna use a water flavor like this is one of my favorite flavors to add into my water when I drink it. So I'm gonna add some of this next time. It's sugar-free. These are adorable. Oh, I'm very happy with the texture. Now it said on the recipe, if you use more gelatin powder compared to water, they will be firm. And they are, look at this. They're very firm. They're not like jello at all. They're rubbery and that's how I wanted them. So I'm gonna actually taste one now because I can't, there's no way that I can wait. All right, now I don't think that I have the flavor any anywhere near where I want it, but I'm just gonna do the texture. Let me taste it. Hmm, actually, you know what? Hmm, tastes like black licorice, just like I wanted. And this extract does not have that chemical that black licorice has that really isn't good for you. Texture is pretty good. I'm gonna dry it off. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. Came out excellent. Texture is good, but I want them, they're very firm. They're the same firm as um, the kind you buy in the store. Look at that, it bounces. It's rubbery and it's dry. I'm very happy with these. Very, very happy with these. Thanks for watching.